I will continue with the attributes of that which Nana calls Ek Omkar Satnam. Karta Puruk, the attributes of Ek Omkar. When Nanak emerged from the river, Japji was his message. The first words that formed as he emerged out of the river were Ek Omkar Satnam. Three words, Ek Omkar Satnam. An entire Sikh religion is condensed in these three words. I spoke to you about Ek means one, Omkar the existential sound and Satnam the nature of it. Now what are the attributes of Ek Omkar? And this is the second part of the Mool Mantra. First part was the invocation which is Ek Omkar Satnam. Now whatever is being said is to explain to you the attributes, the quality. Ek Omkar Satnam Karta Puruk Nirbhav Nirbair Akal Murat Ajuni Saibham Guru Parsad Jab. These are the attributes Karta Puruk Nirbhav Nirbair Akal Murat Ajuni Saibham. And the last two words explain how to attain to this state of awareness. One universal creator, God, thy name is truth, creative being personified, no fear, no hatred, beyond death, beyond birth, self-existent to, by grace, by Guru's grace alone can he be achieved. Let me take you into the words of this this sutra or the body as these are called in the tradition. In Sikh tradition this particular beginning is called as Mool Mantra. Ek Omkar Satna Karta Puruk Nirbhav Nirbhaya Akal Murad Ajuni Saibhang Guru Parsad Jab. Then comes Slok. Adi such, Jugadi such, Habi such, Nanak Hosi be such, Chupa Chupna Hovai, the Lairaha Liptar, Bukia Bukna Utri, the Banna Puria Bhar, Sahas Siyanpa Lakhoi, the Igna Chale Nal, Kiv Sachiara Hoye, Kiv Kule to Tepal, Hukum Rajai Chalana, Nanak Likia Nal. Now this slok is in the form of a question. Nanak himself, a part of him asks the question and then he answers. Adi such, this is a statement. Adi such, Jugadi such, Habi such, Nanak Hosi be such. This I will explain as we are coming to the end. Know that this is the first slok and the last slok which is the end of the Jabji Sahib, that is the last slok. Pavan Guru Pani Pita Mata Dharat Mahat Divasra Duidai Daya Kele Sagal Jagat Changyanya Buryanya Vache Dharam Udur Ke Nede Ke Dur Jinni Nam Dhyaya Jai Masak Katigal Nanak Te Mukujle Keti Chutti Nal Jinni naam dhyaya gaye masakkat ghal nanak te mukujle keti chutti nal. This is the last slok. Slok means it is actual. A word is from Sanskrit language and it is known as a shlok. But in Gurmukhi it is called salok. So let me go into the words, each and every word of this Mool Mantra. Let me take you into the words of the Sutra or Pauli as these are called in the tradition. Nanak says that which is one and existential is the only doer. Karta Puruk. Karta means doer and Puruk means 
the meal principle the entire creation comes into existence because of the male and female principles or male and female energies or anima or animus or shiva or shakti or yin and yang according to the different traditions the hindus say it is purush and prakriti prakriti is the field where the activities are taking place and purush the male is the seed principle just as look at the conception the female prakriti provides the field of activity and male provides the seed and with the interaction of the two the process begins you look at the various electrical appliances each electrical appliance works on the principle which is the energy known as electricity but the electricity cannot manifest itself or cannot be of any use to you unless it manifests through the field of activity your electric stove your television your laptop your refrigerator your air, air conditioner your music set your oven all these are fields of activity and each field of activity is designed specifically to manifest one quality of that the air conditioner cannot do two works when you use the air conditioners in the car there is a certain limitations that you can vary its activities when you put on your air conditioner in install air conditioning facility in the car it can do two functions in summer it can give you cold air and in winter it can give you the hot air so the only difference is that the air is same instead of air passing through the condenser it passes through the heater and it gives you the hot air but that facility is available only in those countries which are which have the two types of weather cold and hot simultaneously in tropics like ours like trinidad we do not have winter we do not need the hot air to come in the car through the air conditioner so that particular device is removed now you look at your oven it can perform certain functions but beyond these two functions which which is in the nature of a duality it cannot perform any other function your cassette player can perform one or two actions it can give you play as a radio set it can do as a recording play your cassettes and also play your cds but it cannot give you the cold breeze because these three functions the radio cassette player and cd player are related to one another without this principle that is operating behind these electrical instruments electrical appliances these are lifeless it is this principle that makes it active in the same way the male principle is the one that activates the feminine principle for the purpose of entertainment for the purpose of progeny for whatever may be the purpose but that itself remains invisible no one has seen the electric current but you have seen its manifestation this is why it is said that there you cannot see god but you can see its creation and god is embedded in its creation god is actually the process of the creation because this principle which remains operative behind every field of activity itself is formless it attains the form the moment it manifests when it manifests it blossoms as a flower it is the same principle that is behind the chirping of the birds the cry of a child the surging of the winds every activity that we see around is because of the two the yin and yang the male operating 
energy or the principle which is karta, karta puruk, the male principle, and the field of operation which is feminine, yin. And with the interaction of the two, it works. You cannot put your electric current anywhere else and expect the images to show on the screen. This television set is made specifically to manifest the quality of the electric current and when it operates through the body, mind, intellect realm of the television set or the field of operation, the prakriti, then it can give you the images, it can give you the sound and so on and so forth. This is the nature of that which Nanak calls Ekonkar, Kartapu, the first quality. He is the only doer. But man considers himself to be the doer. This is ignorance. Every time when a brawl or a quarrel germinates between or springs forth between the two people, the two spouses, male and female, husband and wife or two friends, they go on blaming each other, but not realizing that it is something else which is at the play. And you are bound by your, the electric stove is bound by its body, mind and intellect realm to reflect in a particular. And if there is any malfunctioning, it may give you, give you a shock. The shock comes also from the electric current. The heat, the benefits also comes from the electric current. It is simply that body-mind realm of the electric stove is malfunctioning. When your means, the all the wiring is not in harmony with one another. And unless and until the entire electrical wiring system of the electric stove is in harmony with one another. The quality of the electric current for which it is made will not manifest in that way. It can give you a shock. So in the same way, as an individual, when your body, mind, intellect and consciousness are not in harmony with one another, your actions, your thinking, is distorted. So your only function is keep your instruments attuned. Electric current is the one that cooks your food. It is of great benefits. But at the same time it is it can take your life also. If your electric stove all its wiring is not in correct order Firstly, it will not function, it can give, it can malfunction and can give you shock as well. You have to keep your electrical appliances in order, like this is why when your electrician is working on your electrical system of your car, before he connects the battery, he makes sure that all the wiring is correct. If the wiring is not correct, then there can be an explosion. The same electric current, which is a source of blessings, can be a source of curse also. This is what happens there because many times we get the condition of electrocution and things like that. In the same way, as an individual, you have to keep your inner instruments attuned. When you have a musical concert, there are different musicians and different music, musical instruments. In order, in order for the concert to begin, first all the musical instruments are tuned. In the same way, for you to speak something, you are beginning your concert. You are going to speak, you are going to engage into an conversation. I am now using that elect that the same principle that is at the helm of affairs to manifest through my body, mind and intellect realm at the 
level of the body it is my voice which is reaching you but the voice is of no use if it is not connected properly to the mind because it is the mind mechanism that forms the sentences that forms the proper grammatical arrangements and if the sentences are not formed grammatically correct or there is a mix up of the language then the message will not reach you you will not understand what i mean to say and if behind that the intellect how the message is put i am explaining to you about the karta purukh the only doer but if i do not have the examples this comes out of intellect out of understanding out of experience if these are not given to you you will not understand the message of the masters message of the masters is not for ordinary intellect it is like that if you say that a book that albert einstein wrote it is in english and you know english very well so you can read it no albert einstein is at a different level of consciousness in order to understand the message of albert theory of relativity or the message of bhagavad gita because krishna is a highest level of consciousness nanak is at a different level of consciousness and you are a primary school student you have now entered into preschool and you want to read bhagavad gita or you want to read albert einstein's theory of relativity no it cannot happen so there has to be a connection an instrument in you that can make first of all the instrument that is using like i am using i am speaking to you explaining to you these attributes my body my voice the voice modulation that is at the body level my sentences that are formed the choice of the words the choice of the examples all these have to be in harmony with one another only then there can be a music only then there can be a, a, a soothing music only when all the musical instruments are attuned are tuned into oneness then you can manifest now what happens there in normal cases whether there is a brawl or there is anything your words are never pleasing and it does not have the effect that it needs to have to create a transformation in you masters inner instruments are harmonized his mind or intellect and the heart center are in harmony with one another and the words emerge from the faculty which is known as the sacred heart or where the energy of the head and the heart merge into one another to create a confluence that which is whose very nature is existential oneness is the soul doer it is because of ego that man considers himself to be the doer and the spouse says blames you you blame her and that goes on and not realizing that what is the guiding principle which is at the helm of the affairs the same electric current is operating through the stove the same electric current operating through the television set then only thing that television set the electrician needs to see the electrical engineer needs to do is to keep all the wiring in order you have to keep your body mind and intellect in order and then the harmony the message will flow which will bring joy and bliss to the listener and that can bring transformation on to the person without that it is not possible so it is that but the man considers it you just as el electric stove one day decided to say that i am the one who gives you the cooks your food if i don't cook your food you will not get the food but it forgets that it is operating on the principle of electric current and without the electric current manifesting through it it is lifeless so too as an individual you are lifeless 
if that principle that guiding principle the karta purusha the spirit the god the consciousness the awareness is not operating in it and is not there is or you are not connected to that source you are connect not connected to that infinite source the consciousness or the pran vayu nothing will happen the moment ego vanishes that means the all the instruments of the body mind and intellect are in harmony with one another and then you recognize it is someone else that is speaks through me. when vivekanand went to the parliament of religions after he gained a lot of popularity and prominence one day sister nivedita who was then margaret noble asked swami ji when you was speaking in the parliament of religions it seems as the ray of light was emitting through you not the words he said when i was speaking in the parliament of religions the words were mine the voice was mine but the force behind my voice was of that haggard man he realized that ego vanished body mind and intellect are in harmony with one another the truth starts manifesting in the form of the words it is that light it is that awareness that has now manifesting in the form of words ego vanished he realized and recognized that god alone is the doer this is an experience an understanding that comes only when individual ego vanishes or you can say in other language your body your mind and intellect are attuned to one thing not that body says something else mind says something else and intellect some says something else it is like all the musical instruments the drum the percussions various percussion instruments the wind instruments the uh, string instruments and the amplifying system they are not in harmony with one another the music will not be a harmony mystics are always in trouble they have to use your language and words to speak all that is unseen what i am saying is unseeable i am speaking to you of something that you have not experienced you have experienced electric current to some extent because it is manifesting through your electric stove through your television set through your refrigerator but yet still you are not as an as a person who has attained a certain level of understanding you can say yes it is the electric current that is at the back of that that is operating it is a certain principle of electricity that is relaying the radio program that is being broadcast from the radio station at a particular place but a child who is, is still going to a pre uh, school he will not be able to understand he will like to go behind the television set thinking that there may be someone sitting inside or behind your radio set somebody may be sitting inside and singing this has been the understanding of each one of us as a child but now you grew up into the maturity and then you can recognize this but is still you have to attain to that maturity that you can see the you can know that unseeable the unknown and unknowable principle which is behind every activity behind every creative activity that we see around us in the entire existence that is why the mystics are always in trouble they have to use your words they have to use your language to speak all that is with all that which is unseeable unknown and unknowable and inexpressible the experience is magnanimous and the words are incapable to contain the magnanimity of the experience that nanak has or lao tse has or any other master has and the language is narrow it is something like the one who wants to encage the entire sky in his room it is as if if someone wants to keep the light within his fist nanak has to use your words and then try to give his meaning to your words but the problem arises when the two meanings differ it is bound to happen the fragrance and the essence of nanak cannot be put into the words 
and what you understand from these words is your meaning as the outcome of your fragrance as the outcome of your distorted inner instruments nay your ignorance words flow out of your consciousness when the nanak speaks the words are flowing out of his consciousness and when you are understanding you are understanding according to your own understanding man is an inconscient being his inconscience is the basis of this universe inconscience is your ignorance and this has seven layers when the journey of consciousness begins the level of understanding changes and you get the new perspective of truth from the cogmire of inconscience or ignorance you rise to the level of consciousness where only the enlightened ones are only then you can be the pulse of the existence or ekomkar nanak says and out of your being your life your words will waft the fragrance of nanak a buddha or what nanak calls ekomkar when a master speaks when his inner instruments are attuned it is said that he has attained to enlightenment because everything is in harmony every moment he is in commune with that unknown and unknowable and it is that unknown and unknowable is manifesting through his words in the form of energy and that is the truth that brings about transformation remember ignorance is by product of inconscience it is partial truth you have not yet reached the realm of truth ignorance is truth in making ignorance differs from falsehood falsehood is, is deliberate perversion of truth remember there is a significant difference between ignorance and falsehood falsehood is deliberate perversion of truth and ignorance is an incomplete grasp of truth ignorance is incomplete grasp of truth ignorance is not by purpose and ignorance is not individual alone man thinks that if he does not know his scriptures or if he does not have any intellectual knowledge he is ignorant it is not so ignorance is a cosmic phenomenon and each one of us is a part of this cosmic ignorance how could this ignorance arise ignorance is the result of an exclusive concentration when you concentrate on an object a problem or a mathematical question you are blissfully unaware of everything else that goes on around you because you are concentrating on one thing and when the creative spirit asserts itself it sets everything aside a stage comes when it forgets everything this creative spirit leads to a phase of ignorance this is ignorance of everything except that it is concerned about this is a cosmic phenomenon you are unaware of everything ignorant about everything else except that on which you are focusing on which that you are concentrating because even if you think you are not individually ignorant you are still subject to cosmic ignorance only this much on this ignorance aspect for now i will sometimes later explain this further the language that is available for communion is only narrow instead it is incapable as well whatever nanak wants to communicate cannot be put into the words master have to use your words your language and because of you language because of your language there are so many sects buddha happened nearly 2000 years ago he used a language that was he used pali and prakrit krishna happened 2000 years before even buddha he used the language that was prevalent then the language of the scripture sanskrit 
Muhammad happened in a different environment of country, culture and people. He used Arabic. Jesus happened in a different time. Jesus used the language of his time. Not English, not Hindi, not Sanskrit, but the language that was prevalent in his time. So did the masters like Jesus, Mahabir, etc. All difference is because of your language or your understanding. Nanak used the language of his time which is Gurmukhi. Nanak asserts Karta Puruk that alone is the creator. With this a question comes, if he is the creator and man is created, this gives rise to duality. And from the very beginning Nanak says he is one. If creator and the creation are separate, that is the beginning of the duality. Therefore, Nanak, therefore, as Nanak proceeds, conflict of language arises. The first word that Nanak spoke after he emerged from the river Bain, having the commune with his beloved Arekonkar Satnam, from the very beginning he says he is one. Truly, indeed, the entire Sikh religion is condensed in these three words. Whatever you spoke here, uh, here onwards is explanation for you. Otherwise, the message is condensed. Karta Puruk, the only creator. Remember one thing significant. Whatever the creator has created is not separate from his creation. What is the relationship between the creator and the creation? Creator is lost or absorbed in his creation. The creator is hidden in his creation. Nanak did not create any distinction between the worldly and the sannyasin. It is so then you have to separate. It is so then you have to be separate from the creation. And when the search is for the creator, you have to be away from the creator. Also you have to move from the world of activity. Until the last Nanak did not choose this path. He used to be on his spiritual travels and on his return he will dig his farming. He was a farmer and he will pick up his plough and all the instruments and equipments and will continue farming once again. He would pick up his plough and then continue farming. This is how an ecstatic Nanak created a way for the aspirants. Be in the world but do not let the world be in you remains the message of Nana. We are in the world and the world is in you also. There is a world of conflict and duality, all that is embedded into you. And the village where Nanak settled is called Kartarpur. The village, the place of the creator. Karta means doer. Kartar means the place of the doer. Pur is referred to the place. Just as in the Western terminology, avenues we call the place of residence mm -hmm. and things like these. Nanak used the word Kartarpur. Nanak says if he is the creator, do not consider that he is away from his creation. Nanak says if he is creator, do not consider that he is away from his creation. Then what kind of relationship exists between him and his creation? Look at a sculpturist, what he does. He makes a sculpture. When the sculpture is ready, the two are separate. The sculpture and the sculpturist are separate. A sculpture can exist without the sculpturist. A sculpture and the sculpturist, the one who is making it, are separate. If any of these is no more, the other is not affected. Today, Michelangelo is no more, but his sculptures are there. The presence of the sculpture is not dependent on the presence of the sculpturist, Michael Angelo. If any of these are no more, the other is not affected. The sculpture can remain even without the sculpturist and vice versa. There is duality. This is not the relationship between God and the Creator. Then what kind of relationship is this? It is something like the dancer and the dance. The relationship between the creator and the creation is something like the dancer and the dance. 
when the dancer is the dance is there as well can you really separate the dancer from the dance the dancer remains at home and the dance goes on there on the stage it is a live performance the dancer has to dance on the stage only when the dancer and the dance will be there can dancer live and dance be there if dancer dies the dance can never be the live performance will not be there between god and the creator is live performance god is the live performer of the dance of the creation that is taking place the dance stops so so to the dancer both are together embedded into one another this is the reason that hindus have looked at god as natraj the dancer in the symbol of natraj the dancer and the dancer are not separate from one another a poet writes a poem the poet and the poem are separate the sculpture and the sculpturist are separate this is duality mother gives birth to a child she keeps the child for 9 months within her and then child is born and immediately two are separate however such is not the case between the creator and the creation creation is the dance of the creator if i have to use your language the creator and the creation are one in fact creator is the creation or more precisely the creator is the process of creation is the process of creation nanak says you need not go anywhere wherever you are god is god is hidden in his creation god is hidden in his creation in the breeze in the sunlight in the blossoming of a flower in the barking of a dog in the chirping of the birds in the crying of a child god is hidden in his creation nana gave birth to a new religion a religion in which the world and the life beyond are together only such a person can really be called sikh who is both worldly and sanyasin simultaneously be in the world but never let the world be in you by growing hair or putting on a turban one does not become a sikh to be a sikh really indeed is very difficult it is easy to be worldly and also easy to be sanyasin one can easily renounce the world and retire into the forest or mountain sikh means one who is worldly and spiritual simultaneously this is the meaning that nanak gave but the people that you see around there is no such fragrance be in the house as if you are not be in the world as if you are on the mountain do your business but let the remembrance be there at the core this nanak exhibited through his life count money but take his name do your work in the office as you have to do but let the remembrance be at the back let the consciousness be there that you are doing this work but your consciousness is not into it be in the world but do not let the world be in you his first experience of satori happened when he was working for a grocer he is involved in the mundane work of weighing wheat and other items each time he would finish weighing one set he would count one because that time it was not like electronic scale you put all the item and weight one time no the things have to be weighed in multiples if someone comes to buy 20 kg of wheat 20 kg of wheat cannot go on the weighing scale 20 kg of the wheat and 20 kg of the weight to weigh that means 40 kg it cannot be done so the what the person does he divides into depending on the size of the panel of the weigh, weighing scale he will do it in proportions maybe in portions of 4 so 4 it is easy 4 and 4 8 and it is easy to lift and in multiples of 4 he will weigh it 5 times 
and then 5 by 4 is 20 kg the process is finished Nanak was weighing and counting 1 2 and he went on the process went on he each time he finished one set of weighing he will change the number 1 then 2 then 3 but he was counting in Punjabi finally he reached the number 13 in Punjabi it is Tera Tera means yours dying Nana continued to count however counting never moved beyond the number 13 this was a day of this was like a satori the ultimate has come you and I are two faces Deep down there is a constant remembrance, Nanak has a right home. Either you are lost in I or you are lost in you. I and you create the conflict. I did this right, you did it wrong. The other says, I did it right, you did it wrong. So the whole conflict is of I and you. These are the two faces, two sides of the same coin. For the Nanak, I and you disappeared. Deep down there is constant remembrance, Nanak has arrived home. Everyone thought Nanak to be mad. Co-workers tried to stop him. Nanak was intoxicated with his love for his beloved. He listened to no one. The inner journey begins with I or ego and then it ends at you. Nanak has arrived home. You begin with I and you means dying. When you have reached you, finished. Nanak is not against the world or its affairs. He is in love with the world. Nanak says the creator and his creation are not separate. The creator is hidden in his creation. There alone you will discover the creator. He was not against anything. When he was asked to marry, he agreed easily. Everyone thought that he would definitely Resent, but no, Nanak did not. He got married. However, there was no change in his ways and means. Nanak's life is full of such anecdotes. Sometimes we think that one who begins the inward journey wants to renounce or leave his wife or the family. Sometimes we think that one who begins the inward journey wants to renounce or leave his wife and family. However, such was not the case with Nanak. There seemed to be no way to deviate Nanak from his quest that has become his way now. You cannot destroy for the... You cannot destroy for whom there is no difference between inner and the outer world. Indeed, an aspirant is the one who cannot be deviated from his path by any means. At least his father Kalu Mehta could not understand this. Thus continued the message and methodology of an intoxicated Nana. Long, long after Nana attained, had attained his father Kalu Mehta, long after Nana attained his father Mehta Kalu, realized and he asked Nanak, now that you have attained, will you not help me? This sentiment has been beautifully expressed in one of the Shabbats or Punjabi songs. I will keep this morning's talk up to here because I only spoke of the first word Karta Puru. The others Nirbhav, Nirbhaya, Akal Murad, Ajuni Sabha have 